health is the first component to performance. If they're not healthy, they're not going to perform. We want to teach our guys how to move well first. Once we teach them how to move well, then we want to get them stronger in those patterns, patterns that are going to transfer to the field. And then eventually, for most of these guys, it's, it's power development. I think continuity is huge. Nothing works in isolation, and especially in athletics. Being a cohesive unit, whether it's from the pitching side, the athletic training side, or the strength side, I think they have to work together in order to give the athlete the best chance at success or staying healthy. One of the most important relationships here at, at LSU for me is our athletic trainer, Isaac. The two of us have constant conversations with these guys on a daily basis. And so really we talk about a performance triangle around each one of our guys, both hitting side and pitching side. Two parts of that triangle is Isaac and myself. So at the beginning of the semester, we do some evaluations. We want to know where our guys are at coming into our program, what are our strengths, what are our weaknesses, what are areas of, uh, of opportunity, how do these guys move on the mound, how do they move in the weight room. And each program is based off of those evaluations, their histories, whether it's movement prep, whether it's corrective exercise, um, or strength, you know, I think that's a perfect place for us to implement some of the arm care things that we do, again, based off of what the athlete needs. You know, for us, we're both looking at each one of our athletes through an individual lens. You know, him obviously more on the athletic training side, uh, both of us on the movement biomechanical side. You know, for me and for Isaac, I would say that the most important part is, is where are they at in their developmental process and what are the things that are most important right now for their development. So really staying, staying focused on the process of their development and those things will eventually get us to the outcomes that we want our guys to have. Same thing you do when you go into your coil, right? You go into that coil and then you kind of drop into it, you're trying to turn that foot to create that tension into that those external rotators. You know, every day that we come into the athletic training room, I want to make this an inviting place. Um, I want to make sure that the athletes feel comfortable being in here, and it's not necessarily a place where you come in just when you're hurt. Working with baseball is unique. Uh, I think the athletes are a certain kind of personality, um, which I enjoy. And it's a challenging sport. I think there's a lot of components that go into it. Um, and being able to work in a dynamic atmosphere is awesome. Synchronization will always outrun effort. Makes sense? Getting to show up to work to do something you love, I really wouldn't even call it work. It's, I get to come have fun every day with these guys and help guys really strive to achieve their dreams and their goals. And like I said, it, it, there's never a dull moment when you're around guys that are you know, age 17 to 21 years old. So uh, that, that's probably the part about it I love the most, which is obviously very relationship driven.